Hey YouTube, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, um, this channel here specifically covers a lot of uh, SEO updates and overall just SEO information. And I'd like to also have a special shout out to my subscribers. Thank you for liking my previous videos and also thank you for watching this one. So as everyone may have heard recently, within the last few days, Google has announced the BERT update. So what that specifically is for anyone who's not aware is basically Google launching a new update for search engines. So it basically enables the search engine to understand queries and contexts a lot better than previously before. But before we go into that, we're going to be covering a lot more detail because some of you may have heard of BERT only within the last 48 hours, but BERT has actually been around since about November of 2018. So I have uh, created a nice little presentation for you guys and just sit back, relax and enjoy and learn what you can from BERT and I'll just be going over what you'll be learning uh, today. So we'll be learning about the background of BERT, the accuracy of BERT, the impacts on search and opportunities for SEOs. So just giving a little bit of background, BERT actually stands for Biodirectional Encoder Representations from Transformers. So essentially what it is, BERT is an open source neural network based technique to help Google understand natural language processing. So what that essentially means is it's just a new platform that's enabled Google to learn languages a lot better. That's been one of Google's main challenges for the last few years. They've invested quite heavily into various learning models, algorithms, etc. And <clears throat> this by far has become the most powerful um, tool that they have in their arsenal since it's the first fully unsupervised, deeply bio-directional um, tool that they have to understand what contexts and languages are. So I'll go a little bit more into detail of what that means in just a moment. So please bear with me, but if you stick around, you're gonna learn so much about this. So the current language limitations for Google has been, and other um, AI understanding software and tools, is basically context because sentences and words aren't that simple. Context is a big key. So the biggest problem that a lot of people have is understanding how context is applied in a particular sentence. And this also comes with programmers and engineers who are trying to create these new AI tools. So a perfect example is open a bank account and on the riverbank. So these are two different variations of the word bank one meaning as in a river bank and the other one meaning as bank account. So these are simple examples of what usually trump a lot of these AI tools and a lot of these um, platforms that a lot of these previous um, engineers have, have, have had limitations to previously. But this is where BERT is in its league of its own and will actually be able to understand context a lot better by using bio-directional methods, which I'll explain in, in the next two slides. So other existing problems is that language models only use left to right or right to left context. But language is bio-directional. So what that means is that words either at the beginning or at the end of a particular sentence or phrase or query do end up creating a lot more context. So currently, if you look on existing language models versus BERT, BERT actually goes both ways. While traditional unidirectional language models can only go in one way. For so example, if you quickly look, if you can see here, you have unidirectional context, you've got the little arrows pointing, so it's open a bank, and then you've got bidirectional, which basically means you can go back and forth between the sentence, so you can analyze both directions of the actual um, sentence. So basically it enables full context of a word by looking at all the words that come before it and after it in a sentence. While traditional texts just only go word by word in either left to right or right to left. So this has been a really really big breakthrough for Google and essentially the BERT algorithm tool that they have has basically done a lot of pre-training. So what that means is that it's actually been given or fed a lot of data prior um, in the last year or two 
to enable and to gain more understanding so that's essentially what pre-training is in this circumstance is that they've been training it with a lot of data to ensure that it, it actually understands what context is and to give you an idea of how much data that I've actually used over the last two years this is the amount that has gone through which is basically the pre-training for BERT has involved 2.5 billion words from Wikipedia plus another 800 million words um, from uh, plain text so a lot of these figures and stats I'm going to be putting into the YouTube description below but overall as we go through this kind of gives you an idea of the pre-training that has basically been put into this has been a lot and I mean an absolute lot of information to ensure that this has been fine-tuned by Google so as you can see on the right image here the pre-training so it's basically going through and passing the information and then fine-tuning on the left at the very end so um, just quickly going to the BERT example and um, it's deeply bio-directional and with the keyword or key phrase I accessed the bank account as you can see BERT on the very left in comparison to OpenAI, GPT and Elmo these two are other language modeling tools that Google has to their disposal however I don't know if you can clearly see this but the arrow is moving back and forth between I accessed a bank account here on the left that's basically the bio-directional um, understandings while OpenAI only goes one direction and Elmo just goes kind of concentric circles but once again it's more in a unified kind of direction our boat goes in any direction it chooses to and basically we're looking at tests they put Bert in these pre-existing language models and also looking at a human uh, to see who has more accuracy in understanding context and overall Bert scored an accuracy of 93.1% so as you can see here there's a human from Stanford that they did a test this is from I think 2016 of uh, humans understanding of context so F1 means there's a degree of accuracy so the human scored 91.2 but scored 93.1 and the pre other existing um, language tools scored 91.2 and 90.4 so Bert smashed everyone out of the water in terms of understanding context and the surpassed human understanding from this point in time however this is on one individual and I don't know how many individuals partook in this test and I don't know how many words or how, how many degrees of testing context words that uh, had to be tested for this degree of accuracy but overall that is impressive for Google to be able to achieve such an AI language feat so going down to the impact of search overall particularly for longer more conversational queries this is where BERT will come into play and uh, they'll be uh, coming in using BERT for more conversational queries and for propositions that include four and two and that add in additional meaning to the search query and then search will be able to understand the context of these words in your query and you can search in a way that feels natural for you and that's essentially what Google is enabling you to do is you can search the way that feels natural to you don't really worry too much about the way you structure your sentences together especially if the longer more long tail queries potentially Google will have a better understanding and provide you more accurate and better results for you um, another impact of search you guys have may have seen this uh, come up on a few blog posts recently from search engine land and from the official Google blog themselves and um, basically this is what the query was can you get medicine for someone pharmacy so basically what they uh, what it's showing here is the, the top source query that Google would be providing for that which is basically getting a prescription field and then you have the search result through using BERT which is essentially getting the correct context which is can you get medicine for someone pharmacy and this basically comes up as stating can a patient or a friend pick up a script, uh, prescription for someone else and that's essentially the most important aspect is that in this example it picked up the word someone so it says at the very bottom with the BERT model we can better understand that for someone in quotes 
for someone is an important part of this query whereas previously we missed the meaning with general results about filling prescriptions and then this is where I feel Google has took a massive quantum leap forward and basically understanding context and it will be very very important to ensure that when we're putting together pages and information it's to ensure that we use the right context as we're also crafting content for our websites so it's very interesting how Google's picked up a very good and keen eye on basically understanding how users search better and, it, and then this is another direct quote from Google themselves which is basically by applying BERT models to both ranking and feature snippets in search we're able to do a much better job helping you find the useful information in fact when it comes to ranking results BERT will help search better understand one in ten search queries in US and in English and we'll bring this to more languages and locals over time so what that essentially means at this point in time is that BERT's definitely going to have an influence on rankings and in feature snippets and currently at this point in time Google will only be using this for one in ten queries in the US considering the amount of computing power that's required to use BERT I'm not surprised that they're only doing it for such a small amount of queries and overall is going to be released in more geographical regions over time so that's something to take into consideration so the key opportunities for SEO I would suggest which is basically business as usual for all SEOs and all website owners this is just an update to ensure that there are better results for um, search engines and it helps you create a better a search experience for yourself but overall don't go crazy you don't go creating lots of long tail phrases to try and benefit you know or, or gain potentially you know Google's better understanding of context I would suggest strongly to monitor your rankings and feature snippet results you could use SEMrush and a few other tools to do that especially for feature snippet results because these may be subject to change over time as BERT is rolled out in more updates or basically in more locales depending on how Google chooses to roll out BERT it's currently as previously stated it's only in the US and overall I think this is a big point to take um, for anyone who's a webmaster website owner or SEO which is basically ensure that your existing pages are well crafted for users take into consideration the context and focus of your page have a bit of a skim through just to ensure that you know your pages are crafted well because if not crafted too well your rankings are gonna definitely be impacted I think over time but overall just take into consideration that Google has a much better understanding of what is going on in search queries to ensure that whatever users search that they're going to be provided with the correct results so definitely just take into consideration how you write in the future and please 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 write for your user the end user do not write for the search engine biggest pet peeve that I see a lot of people doing when they're starting out is basically just writing and trying to game the search engine it's not gonna work so please take this into consideration and if you've gained a lot of value from this video please hit the like button and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and feel free to share this on any social media platforms if you've gained a lot of value from this video so once again uh, I'll be putting up a video in the next few weeks again covering any and all SEO topics that come to mind if there's anything you want me to cover please leave a comment in the description below and for all research that I've covered in this video I will be providing uh, links in the description as well so thank you for your time and hopefully you've gained a lot from this video uh, until next time see you guys